God bless everyone who's watching me right about now. I have a very quick word of encouragement for you. Remember, this is going to be a very quick word that is going to help you. Before I start this word, I would like to encourage you to get connected to this platform. Leave your comments because it is very important that when you leave your comments, when you leave your testimonies of how God has done miracles and wonders in your life, it is going to help out someone because people are reading. Also, share this message with someone. Let somebody know about this good news. Be a participant to the gospel of Jesus. My brothers and sisters, the word is learn to be silent. That is today's powerful learn word. Learn to be silent. Not everything you get, you have to tell it to people. Not everything that happens in your life, you have to go out telling this one, this is happening, that is happening. Be very careful. Because some of the people you are telling could be sorcerers. Some of the people you are telling could be haters. They could be thieves. They could be generous people. Don't tell a thief about what you have in your house. Remember, the scripture says that the thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That is his goal. That is his agenda. There is nothing he will do apart from stealing, killing, and destroying. And there is a reason why he goes through that process. Remember, after he has stolen, he kills. And after he has killed, he destroys. A very big reason as to why he destroys that what he has killed. Remember, the thief will destroy it because he does not want evidence. That is the truth. They destroy what they have killed because they want no evidence. So be very careful. Be very careful. Remember that a thief will never steal an empty house. Thieves do not come and steal an empty house. Whenever you see something missing in your house, whenever you see something missing in your life, know that a thief has been responsible. They will always pick something that is valuable. You are valuable. There is treasure in you. A lot of people think that they are nobodies. A lot of people think that they are weaklings. But you are a mighty man and woman of valor. I love what the scripture says, that we have this treasure in earthen vessels. There is treasure in you that even witches even murderers are interested in you see joseph's brothers hated him for one thing for one specific thing the dreams his own brothers hated him for the dreams to one extent that they wanted to kill joseph because he was a dreamer they made it clear and said there comes a dream there comes a dreamer so they decided to throw him in a pit because of the dream he told them about because of the dreams brothers and sisters people are ready to destroy you because of the gift that god has placed in you you are so gifted some of you do not know it you have not yet realized that you are so gifted you are set apart you are so distinct just because you were born in the same family. Just because you come from the same country, it doesn't mean that you are the same. Just because you speak the same language, just because you come from the same culture, you have the same customs, it does not mean that you are the same. You are unique. That's, that is why when you, some of you watch Olympics, when you watch uh, Olympics uh, and you watch people who are running a marathon, there are some who come in as last and there are some who come in as first. 
There was a reason as to why some became the last and others became the first. Because the ones that became the first are unique. They nurtured their gift. They are so unique that they became the first. Not everyone finishes the rest as number one. Others even don't finish. Others collapse just at the finish line. Others in the middle of the race because they gave up. Because they, it is so heavy for them. But for you, you will finish the race in Jesus' name. You will run the race with endurance. Just like the Apostle Paul said, I have finished the rest. I have kept the faith. You will finish the rest. You are unique. So my brothers and sisters, be silent. Sometimes, not every time you're supposed to be silent. But sometimes, silence can be a sign of wisdom. Yes. Silence can be a sign of wisdom. You see, Jesus, not every time he was speaking. No. There are times he was silent. There are times he pointed to a person and it, the demons just left. There are times even he did not speak. That when demons saw him, they manifested and left. Can you imagine when it, that your enemy sees you? That even before you, you, you bring out the arsenal and the weapons, even before you speak a word, they take off. Scripture says that the enemy runneth when no man chases him. When no one chases him. I decree and declare that your enemies will flee when no one chases them. When they hear about you, they will scatter. When they hear that you are about to enter a certain location, they will disappear. Brothers and sisters, the word is be silent. Be silent. But don't be silent when you're, when you're talking to God. With God, you're supposed to speak. But sometimes with God, you're also supposed to be silent. Because sometimes God is speaking to you. Don't be speaking when God is speaking again to you. No, how will you listen? That's why it's called prayer. Prayer is a dialogue. It's not a monologue. When God speaks, you listen. And when you speak, also God listens. That is how we're supposed to work. A lot of people go to prayer and they start speaking, talking, talking about their problems, complaining. And after that, they come up without hearing the voice of God. Why? Because all the time they were talking. Sometimes you have to listen. You have to listen to the voice of God. You have to practice what we call meditation. Not meditating in other things, but meditating in the scripture. That you listen to the voice of God. That is how prayer is supposed to be. That as you pray, you take a pause and read the scripture. Meditate on the word of God. Take a pause and start meditating on the goodness of God. Meditate on that scripture as you are praying. Meditate on the promises of God. That's how it's supposed to be. Brothers and sisters, it's the end of this world. Until next time, God bless you.